The smell's getting stronger. I must be getting close. It's one of my sweet little fox cubs. It's humongous. Say, fox cub, what year of the Meiji era is it? Huh? It's the Taisho period. Taisho? <gasps> ah! Already? We have passed into a new period! And still, I'm stuck inside this Wisteria prison! Ah! Unforgivable! Unforgivable! Damn you, Urukodaki! Damn you, damn you, damn you! You know Urukodaki? Of course I do! Urukodaki's the one who captured and brought me here! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I promised myself I'd kill every single one of them. You know, the ones who stood out to me the most were those two. The boy's hair was an unusual shade of pink, a scar by his mouth. He was the most powerful of the lot. The other was a girl who wore a flowery kimono. Small, not much power, but awfully agile. Could it be? This girl was killed by this demon? I trained with them. Your mask. That's what gives you away as one of Urokodaki's brats. Easy to spot the texture of one of the masks he's carved. He calls them warding masks, right? Except that's how I pick out who to eat. They're all inside my belly. It's as if he guided them to their deaths. Was <laughs> the one that killed Sabito and Makomo? If you're going to blame someone, blame Urokoda. He's the one who trapped me in here. No! What you've done is unforgivable! This isn't just for Sabito and Makomo! I'm going to avenge every life that you've taken! <laughs> I fought many who said the same! But not... <sighs> Not good enough. Uh! I'll devour you. Still move? <sighs> I heard Shigeru's voice. If I didn't, it surely would have been the end of me. Thank you, Shigeru. I won't be helpless again. <laughs> Struggling won't do you any good. His body's getting bigger. Relax. Stay strong. Focus on your breathing. Was Uro Kodaki really the one who trained you? You're so much weaker than all the other ones I've eaten. It's so <laughs> You have helped me become stronger! You give me the strength I need to survive! And that's why I 
won't lose! Not to this demon! No way! No! I'm coming! Don't hold this waterfall basin! I'm coming to waterfall basin! Right, left. Is he trying to confuse me? The small ones are always so hard to deal with. Running around like chickens with their heads cut off. But it's no use. I'm bigger and stronger than you'll ever be. My neck is as thick as a tree. <laughs> Poor little fox. I wonder how I should devour you. That was nothing! Here it comes! Amateur! <laughs> Hold it! I'm coming after you! There's no way a human can defeat a demon! He jumped! Damn it, how did he know? No matter. He won't be able to dodge an attack. Mid-air! <laughs> He deflected it! Total concentration! Water breathing! Uh, not to worry. My neck is tough. He can't cut through it! First form! Water surface slash! Disappearing, and I can't stop it! Damn it! I'm afraid to close my eyes! Oh, the face of this demon slayer is the last thing I'm ever going to see! What a sad scent. Please, God, help him. The next time this man is reborn, please don't let him turn into a demon again. Sabito, Makomo, and all others whose lives were taken by this demon, it's over. You can rest now. Finally, you're going home as promised. Back to Mount Sagiri, if only as souls. You're going back. To Urokodaki. Only four of us? We started with over twenty. I'm gonna die. I'm done for. 
I've survived for now, but soon enough, dead. Welcome, Welcome back, back, everyone. And congratulations. We are pleased to see you're safe. So? I made it back alive. What do I do now? Where's my sword? Patience. We must first issue you all uniforms. We will first take your measurements, and then you will be imprinted with your rank. There are ten ranks in all. From Kinoe to Mizunoto. You all start at Mizunoto. This is the lowest rank in the Demon Slayer Corps. And our swords? In a moment, you will be given the chance to select the ore that will be used to forge your swords. Your weapons will be ready for you 10 to 15 days later. But first... Now that you're Demon Slayers, you must each be assigned your own Kasugai Crow. The Kasugai crows are primarily used to facilitate communication. Wait, crows? Isn't this a sparrow? Who the hell cares about some stupid crow? I want my sword right now. Give it to me before I get angry. The color changing katana. I want it now, do you hear me? Stop that. Take your hands off her or I'll break your arm. No! Huh? Who the hell are you? Give it your best shot! You little... Are you finished chatting with each other? Now, the time has come. Please select an ore to use for your sword. <sighs> The steel you will use to protect yourself, and to annihilate countless demons, will be that of your own choosing. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway. Probably. They want us to choose, but how are we supposed to know which one to pick? I don't have a damn clue. Really? Five of them were able to survive. That's excellent. The number of my children continues to grow. What kinds of swordsmen will they be? Just when I thought I could finally go back, my body is aching. The fatigue is hitting me all at once. Nezuko. Rokodaki. Nezuko! It's you. You're awake! Huh? Nezuko! <laughs> Nezuko! <laughs> Why'd you do that? Why'd you have to sleep for so long? I thought you were never gonna wake up! I was afraid that you were going to die! You're here. You came back alive.
Au! Hi there. My name is Haganezka. I forged Tanjiro Komodo's sword. I am here to deliver it. Oh! I'm Tanjiro Komodo. Come in. In here is a Nichirin sword. I forged it myself. Um, do you want to come in? Have some... The materials for this kind of sword only come from the mountain closest to the sun. Made of scarlet iron sand and scarlet ore. Hey, um, you're welcome to... Unique. They produce steel that can absorb sunlight. Wow, really? Please, come in. You see, Mount Yoko is bathed in sunlight all day. Never a cloud in the sky. No rain means the sunlight can be absorbed without any impurities. Whoa! A clown mask? Did he even hear me? The man still refuses to listen to a word anyone else says. Mm. Hey, you're a child of brightness, aren't you? Well, isn't that lucky? Uh, my parents' names were Tanjiro and Kie. That's not what I mean. You know how your hair and eyes have a reddish hue to them. When a family that works with fire has a child like you, it's considered lucky. A cause for celebration. Is it really? I had no idea. That means there's a good chance this sword will turn red. Right, Durokodaki? Yes. Come on, draw it already. Nichirin swords are also referred to as color-changing katanas. Their color shifts depending on the bearer. Black? That's interesting. Why? Does it mean something bad? Is it unlucky? No, no. It's just something you don't see very often. It's pitch black. I was really hoping I'd get to see a sword turn bright red! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, let go! Stop, please! Ow! How old are you anyway? I'm 37! Damn it! Why? Ah, hey! Please, just calm down! Oh. Tanjiro Kamado, I bring you orders! You must go to a town northwest of here! It can talk? This is your first assignment as a member of the Demon Slayer Corps! Prepare yourself well! Wait a second. Did it say assignment? In that town to the northwest, young girls are disappearing. Night after night, at least one of them vanishes. This is the Demon Slayer uniform I was provided. It's a perfect fit. Okay, then. That uniform is made with a special kind of fiber. It's lightweight, water-resistant, non-flammable. A low-level demon's fangs and talons are incapable of penetrating that fabric. What's that? You plan on traveling with Nezuko, correct? But demons perish when exposed to sunlight. 
That's why I'm gifting you this box, to carry her during the day. It's built from a very light wood called Cloudy Cedar. It's been coated in rock lacquer to reinforce the exterior and make it more durable, enough to withstand some abuse. Oh. Thanks, Orokodaki. By the way, Tanjiro. Yes? Since you're starting out as a demon slayer, there are some things I would like to explain. You should know, there are different kinds of demons. Some demons use a special spell called a blood demon art to give them abilities. You may end up having to face some of them in the near future as well. And fighting against supernatural abilities will be more difficult than anything you've done. However, if you defeat demons and locate their source, you could find the one who turned Nezuko into a demon one day. <sighs> There's only one demon in the entire world that has the kind of blood that can turn a human. Just one. That's it. The first demon there ever was. He's been here for more than a thousand years. He's your target, the one who attacked your family. More importantly, I believe he's also the only one who might know how to turn your sister back into a human. <laughs> that demon's name is... Muzan Kibutsuji. Muzan Kibutsuji. Since he's the only one who can turn humans into demons, that means... He turned Nezuko. Once someone becomes a demon, they'll attack others indiscriminately, even their own family. They can't resist the urge to satiate their hunger with common sense alone. That's what it means to be a demon. At least, that was what I thought. Until I met Nezuko. There's no question that Nezuko is a demon. But in spite of that, she's never devoured a human. Nezuko was lying on top of our brother like a shield, protecting him. She hasn't eaten anyone. I've encountered many demons in my lifetime. But never once have I heard of anything like that. The question is... How does she maintain this state? This is only a guess. But I believe Nezuko can recover her strength by sleeping, instead of consuming human flesh as other demons do. Sleeping to recover her strength. Again, this is only a guess. I could be wrong. Since you were the only one at her side, you must continue to observe her. Understand? And one more thing. I don't know if this will be of any comfort or not, but while Nezuko was asleep, I used hypnotic suggestion on her. All humans are your family. Protect your family. The demons are your enemies. If a demon harms a human, never forgive them. That's what I told her. Tanjiro, I understand that you want to protect your sister, but you must keep in mind. Nezuko is a demon now. She's not a delicate flower who needs your protection. Regardless, this will be your first real mission, where you'll face a demon alone. I hope you both return safe and sound, though I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes, sir. Well, here we are. Nothing seems out of the ordinary, 
But I am picking up a peculiar scent. It's faint, but unpleasant. Let's take a look around. Is that... Excuse me! Ah! Say, thanks! Okay. Excuse me. Uh huh. Excuse me. <sighs> Many thanks. What the? Oh. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, come on. Hey, listen. Hey. There's Kazumi. Poor thing. He doesn't look good. Well, he was right next to Sadako when she was taken. Taken? That person knows one of the victims. Mr. Kazumi! I want to hear what happened last night. From you. This is where Satoko vanished. But I'm sure you don't believe me. I do believe you. I'm here to help. Now let's see. There's still a faint scent of the demon here. But it's uneven. Something's off. Who is this kid anyway? There's definitely a demon lurking in this town. But I need to find out more. Not much time left until sunset. I need to gather more information and track them down before night falls.
Excuse me. Right. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Excuse me. Yep. Huh? I think I can climb this. Okay. Excuse me. <sighs> what the? Right. <sighs> Excuse me. Well... Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay.
Maybe I should get to higher ground. Okay. I can make it through that gap. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. I can get down if I use that. I can just barely make it through. Huh? Is that... Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. <sighs> hmm. Oh no, it's nighttime already. I can smell the demon's scent, but only slightly. The smells are all blending together. It's awful. This has to be the kidnapper. I should sort out the information I have so far. Focus. I just need to follow this scent. Excuse me. Huh? Huh? 
Hurry. <laughs> 